it snowed last night and it is really cold outside, which is a huge bummer because I'm so ready for spring. So we're gonna do a couple things today. One, um, we're gonna switch out the bulbs and my tail lights on my Bronco because my blinkers haven't worked all week. And sometimes they're like living on the wild side, but honestly it's felt a little dangerous. <laughs> Nobody knows what I'm doing on the road. So I need to do that. Rob's out of town. Um, so it's just kind of a solo day. It's Sunday. I'm gonna do that. And then I also wanna show you guys my pride and joy. My Dyna Lowrider S. I'll show you everything I've done to it and just, it's my favorite bike. So I'm thinking about selling it. Um, I'm supposed to sell it. I'm still a little bit on the fence and I'll tell you why when I show it to you. We wishes Rob was home. Huh, buddy? You miss your dad. He's your favorite. You sweet boy. All right, I did just do my makeup, which I have to say is actually pretty uncommon these days. Like really uncommon, but I have been kind of depressed. It's winter, it's cold, and like in Utah, I mean, winter started in October and now it's April. Like for a motorcycle rider and somebody who gets a lot of their joy from riding motorcycles. Winter is rough and I've also had some other stuff that's been really hard this winter like trying to get pregnant I mean the whole year and um, that takes a huge toll on you and also some stuff with my business that's been insane. Um, so anyways sometimes just doing your makeup and looking not like a total disaster makes you feel a little bit better like I said Rob's out of town but I am hanging with the girls later we're just doing like a night in and getting Thai food um so I really didn't need to get ready but I feel better I'm gonna get dressed um and let's see if we can fix my Bronco lights I don't have super high hopes so Let's see. My favorite hoodie, obviously. My bump is really bumping today, y'all. Like, I look pregnant. I feel pregnant. I am pregnant. <laughs> snowing right now and I'll be honest I am a baby about the cold I don't like this I'm really sad about it okay I'm gonna drift. Rob said you just pull it out why don't I believe him Well, I'm uh, really glad that I didn't force that out because I just watched a YouTube video and there's two more screws. We're close though. I'm gonna put this back on, go to AutoZone, come back. It's really starting to snow now, which is super fun.
So there's a woman buying death in there for her diesel truck and she asked the guy what it was. He told her <laughs> and then she says, he usually puts it in there for me when she comes to O'Reilly to buy death. The worker guy puts it in there for her and you know, good for her, good for her. She's an older woman. For me personally, I like to do this shit myself. Got the bulbs. Let's go see if they work. Now, don't get me wrong. There's some things that I don't like to do myself. Really a lot of things, but putting duff in your truck is basically the same as putting windshield wiper fluid in. It's really easy. So stuff like that, changing my bulbs, putting my air in, air in my tires. I mean, I think the other thing is I really don't like being dependent on other people. And if you always have somebody else do those things for you, then it just makes you really dependent on other people. And I don't know, I just, I have an issue with that. Now officially dumping, so let's get this over with. At some point, um, I'll do a Bronco tour. I have done a lot to this truck and it's really cute. It's a 95. It's right there. I think it was just my blinkers that were out. But um, I'm gonna switch both the bulbs over to LED. We had a garage that I could do this in. Okay, we got this in. Um, I probably should make sure they work before they put this on, before I put this on, but. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> leave it, leave it, good boy. <laughs> okay, so ultimately I switched out the bulb and my blinker still didn't work. So I gave up and I came upstairs. I put sweats on and I started watching Vanderpump Rules. Copper, just give me a sec. Just give me a sec, buddy. Um, and I text Rob and told him and he was like, he was like, what about the fuse? And he's right. I think the fuse is bum. So I need to finish the job. Sorry guys, coppers a lot. Um, if you've been watching Vanderpump Rules too, I just started season 11 and it is, I've like cried twice in the first few episodes. It's just a lot, it's a lot to handle. Um, anyways, I really don't wanna leave this job half done. So I'm gonna go see if the fuse is blown. I'm gonna finish switching out the other bulbs and just get it done. Is that your toy? You wanna show everyone your toy? I know it looks like he's like a fighting dog because of that scar right there, 
but he had a lump removed. So he's a very sweet boy. Moment of truth, hopefully. This is what we need. Back to O'Reilly's. Round two. snowing. Really happy about that. Okay, let's freaking get this done. All right. I won't lie, I really hate it when somebody has to come and save me on a job and I'm not able to finish it on my own. Very independent. Don't like asking for help. And I hate being I hate leaving things unfinished as well. So and I'm stubborn. I'm really stubborn. So all of those amazing traits combined. Okay, moment of truth. It definitely wasn't working before. All I did was pull some fuses out and plug them back in. So, I don't know how it's fixed, but it is. Thank you for joining me on my how-to YouTube channel. Alright. I would not mind a bigger garage. And of course, it's snowing again. So we'll see. We'll see how long I want to stay out here and do this. Um, but here's my Dinah. She is hella dusty, but she still looks amazing. So one of the reasons this is my baby and I will always just love this motorcycle is because this is 2017 Dyna Lowrider S and not only was this the last year they did the Lowrider S as a Dyna, but it was the last year they did the Dyna. So it just feels like a piece of history and it just is so pretty. It still has like the more square looking motor which I love and I just love this bike I haven't done a ton of like performancey type upgrades to it but honestly I've ridden the shit out of it and that's been my priority um I have like the fairing the hand fairings 
Two Brother Racing Exhaust, a La Paris seat, uh, Lucky Dave's risers, I think, think they're 11 inches. Um, I did have to replace my lifters on my last trip to Oregon. And so a lot of like internal work has been done. That was pricey. Um, but yeah, most of all, I've just ridden the shit out of this bike. I think it has 36,000 miles and I'm the original owner. Um, this was my, I think fourth motorcycle. First, I got a Honda Rebel 250 and then I got a Yamaha um, 400. And then I got a Sportster 1200 and then I got this baby and yeah, I've just ridden her all over. I'd be really curious if like, you know how many miles you've put on one of your motorcycles um if 36,000 is like a lot or if you're like no i've put way more than that like i'd be really curious i didn't do a ton of commuting on her i mostly did really long trips um the furthest trip i did was to milwaukee from salt lake city and back and that was really badass um i've also ridden her I mean, all over Idaho, California, Oregon, Nevada, Wyoming, um, yeah, all those places. I went down the whole one-on-one -on, -one on her, and she's a killer bike. I, I technically have her listed for sale right now, but I don't want to sell her. Like, I love my Street Glide ST, but just like my bagger old lady bike she's not like cute and sexy and sporty and so I think that's why I don't want to give my Dyna up um my street glides obviously like this is pretty comfortable on trips but my street glides like really comfortable on trips and really badass and really boss lady but um yeah I'm gonna have trouble giving her up especially because I feel like right now it's hard to get um much money for a bike like I think I have her listed for 14 7 or something but she's like worth more to me you know <laughs> I think if I were to make more upgrades to this bike um you know obviously they stopped doing the Dyna and like they switched the soft tails and you know the, the suspension and the soft tails are better like that's why they switched to them right they're better, they corner better, better um, center of gravity. And like, you know, my husband has a sport glide, which is a soft tail and like it corners better. It really does. Um, so anyways, I think if I were to make more upgrades, you know, one would be suspension, especially front suspension, um, but it's just really expensive. So I haven't done that on it. Um, and I don't really know what else I would do. Honestly, that's probably it. Anyways, let me know how many miles you've put on your bikes. Um, I think combined on all of my motorcycles, it's hard to say, I guess probably somewhere around, I don't know, maybe 80,000 miles I've ridden would be my guess. Um, I took a lot of trips on my Sportster too, and yeah, just let me know how many miles you put on one of your bikes or total. I'm curious to see what you guys have ridden, and let me know if you think I should keep my Dyna. I still have a loan on it, so I'd have to pay it off and just let me know if you feel like that's a good idea or not. I need help. Okay. Thank you for hanging out um, on my last video. I told everyone that I was pregnant and still riding motorcycles. And I was really surprised that everyone was super cool about it and honestly just said congratulations. So obviously there's a bunch of riders here who understand and I think that's dope as hell. So yeah, keep following along and I'll keep posting. Bye y'all.